Welcome to the third segment of this three-part aerial lift evacuation technique series brought to you by Cascade Rescue. Rescue pre-planning is essential. Before completing a training or rescue, you should be aware of the fall arrest guidelines for your location and complete a pre-use inspection for all of your equipment. The National Ski Area Association Area Lift Evacuation Guidelines are a great reference when building a rescue plan for your resort, ski area, or aerial tramway. In the second segment of this three-part video, we covered moving from a cable glider above the chair with a stranded skier to the J-bar, assuring the skier safe evacuation to the ground, and then moving back to the cable and safely exiting. We encourage you to watch this segment now. In this third and final segment, we will cover safely evacuating a stranded skier from chair to ground with rescuers working from below. I'm Ted Cook. I'm a patroller trainer at Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandport, Idaho. I'm just going to walk you through a, a basic ground-based evac system. One patroller is going to climb up the tower with the light line. He's going to deploy the light line over the communication cable. He's going to lower down the pulley system all the way to the ground. And this is eventually what the T-seat is going to get hooked onto. He's just going to unhook the bag from himself, make sure it's not hooked to anything else. Then he's going to call rope and throw the bag over the cable. So you get the rope saver hooked onto the cable. And then we'll go down to the next chair and show you how to flip it over the clip. Because we'll have to do that a couple times in this scenario. In this rescue scenario, we are using two independent rope systems for redundancy and two patrollers to lower the chair occupant. Per the NSAA aerial evac guidelines, rescue aids and other non-auto locking descenders should not be used for rescue. So what I want you to do, you have, let's say you have skis on. If you had skis on, I'm gonna have you throw your poles off to the side right now. Skis stay on though, okay? Don't kick your skis off. Okay, so what I want you to do with this evacuation seat or T-seat, put it under your butt all the way, okay? Put your arms through the rope. Get it as high as you can on your chest and tighten the collar as tight as you can take it, okay? Got that? So we're going to raise the T-seat up to you now and have you do that. It's important to remember that when training for aerial lift evacs, everyone must follow all rules and regulations for industrial fall arrest and rescue. The communication is key here. You need to talk to your belayer, make sure the belay is on, tell them your belay is on, and then they can proceed to inch their way out of the chair, and then you can belay them down with your device. So Sasha, when we get you to the ground, I want you to use your legs and stand up, okay? This rescue concludes with the removal of the rescue lines and the line saver hooks from the cable so that the lift may be restarted. This concludes part three of this aerial evacuation series. For additional detailed information, consult the Aerial Evacuation Resource Guide jointly produced by the National Ski Area Association and the National Ski Patrol. For more information about the evacuation products used in this series, please contact Cascade Rescue directly.